Hi, this is Ram from ramkedem.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use arithmetic operations on different column types. Arithmetic operations are simply mathematical calculations, such as subtraction, addition, or division. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to apply those calculations to numerical columns, how to use them with date columns, what happens when we are trying to perform calculations on a string data type, and how to deal with null values. Toward the end of this lesson, I'll provide some general guidelines regarding those calculations. So let's start this lesson by understanding how to apply mathematical calculations on numeric columns. Let's type select customer ID last name monthly discount from customers. Let's highlight and execute. We can see the customer number, last name, and his or hers monthly discount. Now, on the monthly discount column, which holds numeric data, we can perform any mathematical calculation. For example, we can add 4 divided by 5 multiplied by 9.7. We can even wrap this section in parentheses in order to control the order of percentage. Let's highlight and execute again. And now, as you can see, we have a new calculated column. Now, although we don't have to display the original column without the calculation, doing so will allow us to determine how the calculation affected the original value. So, let's add the original column, let's say monthly discount, and execute again. This time we can see the original column alongside the one after our calculation. So this is how we perform calculations on numbers. Now let's see what happens when we are trying to perform calculations on string. Let's try to say select customer ID last name multiplied by 5 from customers. Let's highlight and execute. And as you can see, calculations are not possible on strings. Makes sense. We cannot perform any mathematical calculation on a word or a sentence. Let's proceed to date values. Let's type the following query. Let's say select customer ID, last name, join date, from customers. For each customer, we are displaying the customer ID, last name, and join date to the company. Now, let's add a new column, join date plus five. Let's try to execute. As you can see, by using the addition operator, we are adding five days to the original date. In the same way, instead of saying plus, let's say, minus 5. And now we are displaying a new column representing the original join date minus 5 days. Now, let's say instead of minus 5 multiplied by 5, let's try to execute. As you can see, we are getting an error. Let's try to say instead of multiplied by 5 divided by 5, and again, we are getting an error. So multiplication or division are not possible on date columns. Addition and subtraction adds or subtracts days. Now let's understand what is a null value. Let's type the following query. Let's say select customer ID, last name, monthly discount, from customers. Let's highlight and execute. As you can see, some of the values inside the monthly discount column are marked as null. A field with null indication is a field with no value. Null is not equal to zero. Null is not equal to space. Null simply means that there is no value in that specific field. 
Now, any calculation on a null value returns null. So, if we will say, for example, monthly discount plus five, let's execute, you will see that every addition on null value returned null. Few general guidelines. Please note that in any case, the different calculations do not change the actual data. Arithmetic operations only change the way values of columns are displayed. Also, note that different calculations set the columns header to no column name. We will address this issue in the next video. Okay, so in this lesson, we learned how to perform different calculations on various column types. Please feel free to ask any question you may have in the comments section below. If you are looking for a way to practice what we have just learned, in ramkedem.com you will find hundreds of exercises on many different levels. More details can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.